We make us a kuwaka, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hello there, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today is Philippians 3 verse 8. Um, it's actually a continuation of the previous episode. And it says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all these, all things, but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them, but dung, that I may win Christ. I repeat, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. It says, Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord. Ye doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus. Now, what does that mean? What does that, that bit of the scripture refers to? It refers to what Paul did. Apostle Paul is the person in question now who's, who wrote the Philippians. And he says, Ye doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Jesus Christ. What he's trying to say is that at this time he was leading a sacrificial living that he had killed and the flesh was dead and was buried. That he was living according to the dictates, according to the precepts, according to the teachings and according to everything Christ taught and Christ lived for when he was on earth so the year doubtless i count all things but loss so every other thing is a loss of which he counted but lost that means he had to sacrifice the flesh he had to sacrifice materialism he had to sacrifice worldliness he had to sacrifice everything that was ungodly everything that was not christ-like for the excellence of the knowledge of christ that he might gain more in Christ, that he might grow in the spirit, that he might live from becoming a baby in the spirit unto drinking milk and milk unto adulthood. Now it takes every different people, different times to be able to attain adulthood in the spirit. And this is according to how seriously one takes the journey, how seriously one takes God. If you take God first, he will take you first. And, and here, Apostle Paul took Christ first. And he said he counted everything but loss. All was counted but, but loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ. Then the second bit said, For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ said, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them, but don't that I may win Christ. So here he's saying that he had suffered the loss of all things. Apostle Paul was one apostle who was a radical for God. Apostle Paul was another apostle who had gone through several things for Christ. Apostle Paul was one apostle who had gone through many ups and downs for the sake of Christ. Apostle Paul was one apostle who had gone through perils, who had gone through downtimes, who had gone through, had been attacked, who had been beaten, who had been, been scourged, who had been robbed. Apostle Paul was one person who suffered in prison, 
who suffered in penury, who suffered, who lacked, who so it was somebody who had suffered the loss, the loss of all things, all material things, his position as a, someone who was a high-ranking officer in the crucifixion and the persecution of Christian at that time. But when he was arrested by God, he chained everything. He, he lost everything. He lost everything worldly. And he said here he counts them but dung. That he counts them as, as waste. As every other thing is a waste. That he may win Christ. That means he went through all the suffering. He went through all the, the down times. And the loss of materialism. And everything he experienced in all the Bible. In all where he, he was spoken of. Or all the books he wrote in the Bible. That he might win Christ. So his priority was winning Christ. His priority was, was fulfilling his God-given destiny. His priority was so winning. His priority was stretching the, the, the length and the breadth as far as he could to give the gospel, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray that God gives us that spirit of Paul, that radical spirit to emulate him, that spirit to be like Paul, that we might be able to continue to, to run in the race and take God as the first in every situation in our life. Now I want to pray that God expounds our territories. I want to pray that God helps us ultimately to be able to lead the practicality of this word, that we may be able to attain that fulfillment and that aim of which we are called, that destiny of which we are called. All these are acts through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. Also, if you have any comments and any questions, you can email me at thetubeministry at gmail.com. That is thetubeministry at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless.